Hello everyone, my name is Apollonia and this is a new episode of the Script Writing Tips. In this episode we're going to talk about the second plot point or turning point, what is it and how to find it. In the second act, there are two very important plot points. The midpoint, which we've already discussed about in another episode, and you can find it near the actual middle of the story, dividing the second act in two halves, and the second turning point or plot point, which is near the end of Act 2. In this second turning point, a new idea, a realization or a new information comes forward and urges the protagonist to move on. Usually this is where Act 2 ends and Act 3 begins, when a new chapter begins for the protagonist, which is going to be the final chapter, the one that will lead them towards the end of the story. As we've said before, there are many important turning points in a story, however turning point 1 and 2 are the most significant because those points move the story towards the new act. Just like turning point 1 pushes the story towards act 2, turning point 2 pushes the story towards act 3. These are two major changes in the story which are considered basic for its further development. So since the second plot point or turning point is so closely connected with the beginning of Act 3, it is very important to know how to find the beginning of Act 3. Here is my method on how to locate the second turning point. Find first the beginning of Act 3. If you don't know how, you can watch the relevant episode by Script Writing Tips on how to find the beginning of Act 3. Now find what led to Act 3. What's the event that leads the protagonist to Act 3? That's the second turning point. During Act 2, the protagonists gather information, skills and knowledge, and by the end of Act 2, they are ready to confront everything that makes them struggle, to confront the antagonists, and most important, themselves. We're gonna talk about Act 2 in more detail in another episode, However, in this second half of Act 2, our protagonists have already acquired the basic knowledge of the world or situation they're in, and now they pursue their goal with more intensity. The more determined the protagonists become during Act 2, the harder the obstacles you throw in their journey. This is how you build the necessary conflict. Remember, no conflict, no story, and that's what Act 2 is all about. According to the Pixar team from Pixar in a Box, usually at the end of Act 2 something really bad happens to your characters to force them to confront the things that they didn't want to confront at the end of Act 1. This is why Act 2 exists. That's why the second turning point or plot point is also called the low point or according to Blake Snyder, the point where all is lost. The low point is a point when it seems like everything is lost for your main characters. In the second turning point, or low point, you can find two possible versions. Either everything is going wrong for the protagonist and it seems that all is lost, or the protagonist may have achieved everything they wanted but still be frustrated because now they understand that there's something else they actually need they have some kind of realization. In the first case, where all is lost, your characters may have failed in all atoms to get what they wanted and now all hope is lost. For a while there, the protagonists feel like they have come to a dead end and can't discern any way out. They can't find out any solution to their problems. Protagonists usually lose everything at this point of the story and they are left alone without help nor hope. That's exactly what happens in the movie The Game. Nicholas loses everything. He has already lost his family and friends, but at this point he also loses everything he owns. His money, his fortune, his ID, 
he even loses his consciousness. In the second case, where in the turning point 2 there is a waning, it's usually only a half waning, or even a false waning. So even if there is a waning, it's still a low point because the protagonist realizes that it hasn't ended yet, and more effort is needed. For example, in an action movie like Speed, The protagonist save the victims that are in danger, that's a waning. But they still haven't caught the bad guy. That's a loss. The protagonists are not happy because it hasn't ended yet. Or on the other hand, in a drama like in the movie Up in the Air, The protagonist may have achieved everything he wanted, but now he realizes that what he wanted all along is not what he really needed. There we have a realization that he's winning the wrong thing. That usually makes the protagonist frustrated and miserable, and now they're ready to pursue their true goal. So that's all for now. Another episode of the Script Writing Tips has come to its end. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of this content, do this and this. I will continue to release videos on how to find the various plot points as well as sharing tips, explaining structure and analyzing moves and stories, so stick around. Let me know what you would like to see, feel free to share your comments or tips in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, this is Apollonia and Script Writing Tips.